2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Ooh, heartbreaking images being seen in portions of uh, New England. Uh, we are tracking on re right now, still talking about some tropical storm warnings in effect uh, for areas right around Mass or right around Connecticut. It did make landfall earlier today around 1230 as a tropical storm around westerly Rhode Island. Uh, you can see the outer rain bands very intense, dealing with lots of lightning, very strong gusty winds, and the flooding threat is expected to continue throughout Monday uh, as the system continues to move up to the north and west and also that little red box that you see on your screen right here. That's actually a tornado warning. So that typically happens when we deal with these tropical systems. But here's the latest track of tropical storm on re right now still remaining tropical of tropical storm at this moment, but it is expected to weaken to a tropical depression and it's going to continue to lose steam as we head into tonight throughout your Monday uh, because these storms really need that warm water in order to survive. And when it moves over land, that kind of disrupts the balance of the storm. Uh, but right now radar is showing pretty much quiet conditions across our region, and that's really nice compared to what we dealt with earlier. We dealt with very, very very heavy uh, rainfall. We dealt with some lightning, and also uh, even some hail as well. But as we take a look at future cast, uh, we could be dealing with that chance for some rain as we head overnight uh, as that upper level low kind of stays parked around our region, all thanks to Henri. Uh, but as that low pressure system moves up to our north, we could in fact see some moisture from Henri head our ways. We head into tomorrow afternoon, so a few isolated showers and storms can't be ruled out for the second half of your Monday, but much of the day will be dry, but you might encounter some of those showers when heading out to work tomorrow morning. Right now, as we take a look at current temperatures outside, sitting in the uh, mid to upper 70s and even the lower 80s, and we're right now sitting around 80 degrees. That's actually where we capped out today, so slightly below normal. That's about six degrees below average. Heading into tonight, right around nine o'clock, temperatures are going to range around uh, 76 degrees, 74 as we head around 11 o'clock. But keep in mind that chance for showers and storms uh, will linger as we head into the overnight hours. But uh, those showers are really expected to move out of our hair as we head around daybreak tomorrow morning right around lunchtime tomorrow topping out around the lower 80s eventually rising into the mid and upper 80s and even the lower 90s for tomorrow but keep in mind as we head into tomorrow it's going to be feeling very warm very humid out there because of this because of our dew point temperature uh, we're going to be dealing with a dew point temperature of 74 degrees and we actually stay in the 70s in terms of dew point temperature uh, throughout much of this week and even for the start of the upcoming weekend so with the, all the sunshine that we're going to be seeing for tomorrow and even for the next few days uh, and also take into account how high our dew points will be and our even our air temperatures that is going to make it feel like 100 102 degrees for your Tuesday. Some very dangerous heat on our way. Uh, feeling like 102 for Wednesday and even 103 for Thursday. So uh, throughout the work week, you really want to make sure you are staying hydrated. If you have to be outside for an extended period of time, uh, wear light colored clothing. And if you can find a shaded area, take frequent breaks. Uh, if you don't have to be outside, it's going to be a great week to stay indoors. Topping at around 94 degrees for your Tuesday with plenty of sunshine. Sweltering heat, though, uh, just keep that in mind for Wednesday, Thursday, even into Friday, keeping that chance for a few pop up showers and storms in the forecast for Thursday and Friday with a better chance for rain as we head into next weekend. We'll be right back after the break.